हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू माय यूट्यूब चैनल टारगेट नर्सिंग सो फ्रेंड हियर आई एम अगेन विद न्यू वीडियो एंड इन प्रीवियस लेक्चर वी हैव सीन अबाउट द अम्बलाइकल कॉर्ड एंड नाउ इन दिस वीडियो और इन दिस लेक्चर वी आर गोइंग टू स्टडी अबाउट अम्बलाइकल कॉर्ड एबनॉर्मेलिटीज मीन्स एबनॉर्मेलिटीज ऑफ अम्बलाइकल कॉर्ड ओके सो बिफोर स्टार्टिंग द लेक्चर जस्ट डू लाइक सब्सक्राइब एंड शेयर द वीडियो सो लेट स्टार्ट द टॉपिक okay so first we are going to see today about the abnormalities of umbilical cord so first its definition okay so cord uh, the definition of the definition of cord abnormalities refers to the abnormalities cord abnormalities refers to mark variation of umbilical cord including anatomical anatomical physiological alteration okay so what what did mean the cord abnormalities refers to the anatomical and physiological physiological alterations anatomical means structural okay structural and uh, the physiological means the functional so the structural and functional alteration means variations okay so the uh, so what the structural and the functional anatomical and physiological alteration in umbilical cord is leads to the abnormalities of cord okay like it involve the abnormal length okay abnormal length is comes under the anatomical means structural okay anatomical structural pe ye include hoga because yahan pe koi abnormal length ki baat ho rahi hai theek hai ye abnormal length ki baat hai occlusion ho jata hai theek hai to wo jo hota hai wo functional mein include hota hai occlusion se hote hain hamare occlusion se hote hain functional means physiological mean include hoon. ठीक है ईटीसी दैट मे रिजल्ट इन डिस्ट्रीब्यूशन ऑफ फिटल प्लेसेंटल सर्कुलेशन एंड दीज एम नॉर्मेलिटीज लीड्स टू फिटो प्लेसेंटल सर्कुलेशन डिस्टर्बेंस ठीक है दिस एम्लाइकल कॉड एब नॉर्मेलिटीज दीज एब नॉर्मेलिटीज कॉज एब नॉर्मेलिटीज लीड्स टू फिटो प्लेसेंटल disturbance circulation disturbance so what is cord abnormalities cord abnormalities refers to the anatomical and physiological variation in the cord which leads to fetal Um, which leads to disturbance in fetal placental circulation because what happens the umbilical cord is the only structure or we have seen in the definition of umbilical cord that it is a connecting link between the placenta and fetus and it helps to provide the oxygen blood from placenta to fetus fetus to placenta so what happens when there is abnormalities in abnormalities in cord it will lead to fetal placental circulation disturbance okay so this is about the definition of umbilical cord abnormalities now we are going to see the abnormalities of cord so first is battle door insertion this battle door insertion we have also seen in also seen in placental abnormalities but what happen we have seen it in battle door ab sorry placental abnormalities that time we are talking about placenta okay and now we are going to we are talking about cord theek hai so don't confuse that uh, the placental sorry the battle door insertion is cord abnormalities and battle door placenta is placental abnormalities it comes in both okay it included in both okay so what is battle door insertion what happens as you can see here this is the battle door insertion picture of placenta and this is a normal insertion of cord with placenta okay so what difference you are seeing here 
can you point uh, can you point the difference of these two pictures between these two picture okay i am going to tell you that this here what happens this cord is attached at margin okay marginal attachment and here in normal placenta it is a central attachment of cord so what happens in battle door insertion the cord is attached the cord is attached at margin margin of placenta okay and in normal the cord is attached at center of placenta so this is the main difference between the battle door insertion and the normal insertion of cord but what is the difference you can see here this is a normal insertion here you can see this is normal insertion and this is battle door insertion so in battle door insertion the cord is inserted at the margin of the placenta and in normal insertion the cord is at center of the placenta so this is the difference between the battle door and normal insertion of cord okay now we are going to see second abnormality which is velamitis insertion and this velamitis insertion we have also seen in placental abnormalities it also comes in placental abnormalities included in placental abnormalities so here you going to see that there's two structure of normal umbilical cord insertion and velamitis cord insertion okay so what you are going to see here in this normal umbilical cord insertion what happens the cord is attached to the center and it is attached to the placenta by center of the placenta okay and here also it is attached with the fetus at the center of the abdomen of the fetus but here when it is insertion of cord what happens you can see here that the cord is attached at the center of the abdomen of fetus but what happens this is not going to attach at the center of placenta instead of it it is going through covering the head of the fetus and here you can see the umbilical vessels are there exposed umbilical vessels this is the main term in velamitis insertion of cord okay what happens that there are exposed umbilical vessels in velamitis insertion of cord but in normal umbilical cord insertion there is no exposed umbilical vessels okay you can see here the actual diagram of placenta or oh sorry the umbilical cord what it look like when it is velamitis insertion here you can see that there are vessels are present here and what happens these are exposed it is not covered by amnion and chorion and it is exposed okay and what happens in velamitis insertion that there are exposed umbilical vessels and it the umbilical cord with gone with cov uh, with the gone it it will gone with covering the head of the fetus and here the exposed umbilical vessels are present this is the velamitis insertion of cord okay so this is the difference between the normal umbilical cord insertion and velamitis cord insertion and now we are going to see the next abnormality which is abnormal length okay as i told you in the definition of abnormalities of cord abnormal length comes in the anatomical variation structural variation okay so first abnormal length means either it will be wrong either it will be long or either it will be short okay so first is long cord normal length of the normal length of the cord i told you earlier normal length of cord is 50 cm around here we are going to see the long cord that means it will be more than 50 cm 
और अप टू एट्टी सेंटीमीटर यू कैन सी हर दिस इज अ वेरी लॉन्ग कॉर्ड सीन है शोन इन द पिक्चर यू कैन सी दिस द नॉर्मल लेंथ ऑफ द कॉर्ड इज फिफ्टी सेंटीमीटर so what happens in long cord either it will be more than 50 cm or up to 80 cm okay now we are going to see next which is short cord it also comes under abnormal length we have seen first first we have seen long cord and now we are going to see the short cord so normal length is 50 cm we know Fifty centimeter, and in short cord, what happens? It will be less than thirty-five centimeter. Okay, short cord. It will be less than thirty-five centimeter. This is short cord. Okay, now. to the next step normality okay so single abna sorry single umbilical artery so there are blood vessels present in umbilical cord as we have seen and these blood vessels are in structure we have seen about it blood vessels so what happens in normal umbilical art uh, umbilical cord there are two arteries and one vein in normal cord but here we are going to see the abnormality so there is single umbilical artery what happens that there will be a single umbilical artery is present in the umbilical cord a artery or a vein you can see here ठीक है, there will be no two arteries present, only one artery will be there. Okay, now move to the next abnormality, which is cord nodes. ठीक है, nodes, cord nodes consist of false node and true node. Okay, so uh, false node is refers to. This is a condition what happens that uh, I have told you that the cord is made up of three structure, which is the covering of amnion or epithelium, or what uh, what is jelly, and there are blood vessels present in cord, like two arteries and one vein. Okay, so what is jelly? Is a gelatinous substance inside umbilical. cord okay so what happens in false node false means it is not true okay it seems like it have nodes nodes are present but actually there is no node there is No node present. Okay, what happens? This false node uh, is caused due to this Watson jelly get uh, means this जो Watson jelly है it will यहाँ पर को वो क्या होगी वो इकट्ठा हो जाएगी ठीक है उसकी वजह से हमें क्या लगेगा कि वहाँ पर को not present है but वो actual में कोई not नहीं होगी वो false not होगी ठीक है these Watson jelly get collected at a place or a site and it will look like that there are not present in umbilical cord but there is no actual not present in umbilical cord it is the collection of Watson jelly inside the umbilical cord okay this is false not now we are going to see the true knot as you can see here this is a real umbilical artery and there are real knot present here here inside the watson jelly get collected but here what happens there is actual knot present in umbilical cord you can see okay here is the knot is present this is true knot and this is false knot okay now we are going to see the next abnormality which is knuckle cord 
so which, what is knuckle cord knuckle cord is a term that used by the medical professionals okay when you uh, when the baby has their umbilical cord wrapped around their neck what happens when the baby or the fetus have the uh, umbilical cord wrapped around their neck then it is known as knuckle cord okay umbilical cord umbilical cord get wrapped around around the baby's neck known as knuckle cord okay and I have told you that what happens is knuckle cord or these all abnormalities leads to the disturbance in the fetal placental circulation. So this knuckle cord, how the knuckle cord going to disturb the fetal placental circulation? As you can see here the in the diagram that the here what happens the cord is wrapped around the neck of the baby okay and what happens here the area of enlargement and it will lead to the asphyxia means absent of oxygen asphyxia in fetus okay this knuckle cord leads to a condition which is known as asphyxia which is result asphyxia means i have told you the absence of oxygen and how this absence of oxygen will occur that from decreased flow of oxygen to fetus through umbilical cord because the cord is get wrapped around the neck and what happens there will be compressed cord Okay, there is more force will be uh, will, uh, will be there on the cord and compressed cord preventing the blood and oxygen exchange between the mother and fetus and resulting in asphyxia. Okay, like the umbilical cord is wrapped around the neck of the baby and it will cause uh, some area enlarge and some area small and there are force present in that cord okay and this come what happens the cord is get compressed okay that compressed cord preventing the blood uh, what happens when there is compression in the cord what happens there will be decreased supply of oxygen and there will be no exchange between the mother and fetus and that results in asphyxia and this knuckle cord leads to the condition in the fetus which is known as asphyxia it means the absence of oxygen and it will lead to the death of the fetus inside the worm okay and now we are going to see the next abnormality which is called structures okay and there are torsions and structures we seen in the umbilical cord uh, abnormality so what is torsions incidence is ka jo hai wo rare hai theek hai results from the fetal movement during which the cord normally became twisted it what happens in torsion that when the fetal move inside the worm what happens the cord normally get twisted and fetal circulation is compromised and it will lead to the death of the fetus inside the worm Due to the movement of fetus, what happens? The cord become twisted and it will lead to decrease supply of oxygen in the fetus and it will lead to fetal circulation compromised. Okay. And in structures, this is more serious than torsion. Okay. In structures, uh, what happens? Most if infants with this finding are stillborn. Okay. Stillborn means they are dead. Dead. Okay. At the time of delivery. Uh, structures will lead to most of the finding of the uh, of the fetus are stillborn and associated with extreme focal deficiency in what's in jelly here you can see the diagram of the structures the umbilical cord having structures now what happens you can see the normal umbilical cord artery has more amount of what's in jelly but here you can see there are no more amount of what's in jelly which is which, which makes it very thin okay and the uh, in next point in monoamniotic twins okay so what is monoamniotic twins the twins which share, share the same amniotic sac 
ओके मोनो मीन्स सिंगल एमनियोनिक ट्विन मीन्स टू बेबीज इन सिंगल सेक ओके एंड इन दिस कंडीशन मोस्ट ऑफ द फिटर्स और द बेबीज इज हैविंग स्ट्रक्चर्स प्रॉब्लम ओके द मोनोकोरियोनिक मोनो एमनियोटिक ट्विन्स दैट इज ट्विन्स हु शेयर बोथ a single placenta or a single amniotic sac they have a single placenta and a single amniotic sac universally have tangled umbilical cord okay and this condition with mainly lead to the tangled umbilical cord which can lead to sudden fetal demise in either or both twins what happens and this structure or this tangle in the cord will lead lead to sudden fetal demise means a sudden fetal death it will cause in either both or in single baby okay and is regarded a very high risk multiple pregnancy this monoamnionic twins pregnancy will leads to or it will considered as very high risk pregnancy because what happens in this there are two fetuses and they both are sharing a single amniotic sac or a single placenta and it has more chance to tangle the umbilical cord okay and cause a sudden fetal demise or death okay so this is a structure where the watson jelly deficiency will occur and the cord will become very thin and it will become twisted or tangled which leads to decrease oxygen supply to the fetus and it will lead to sudden demise in the fetus okay so this is all about the abnormalities we have seen seven abnormalities of umbilical cord so first we have seen the definition then we have seen the battle door insertion and here we have seen the battle door insertion and normal insertion difference velamitous insertion of cord in which we have seen the exposed umbilical vessels are the sign of velamitous insertion of cord and we have seen the abnormal length which included in um anatomical variation and there are long cord and short cord and then we have seen single umbilical arteries normally a umbilical cord will consist of umbilical vessels which is of two arteries and two vein but in this what happen there are only one vein and one artery present in the umbilical cord okay and then cord nodes and there are false nodes and true nodes okay and then we have seen the knuckle cord and how it and the how it will leads to the death or the asphyxia in the fetus we have seen and we have seen the cord structures and torsions okay so with this we have completed today's topic okay so friends with this we have completed today's topic in next video we are going to see about the amniotic fluid and with this video we have completed the topic umbilical cord first we have seen the definitions and how the structures and functions of the umbilical cord and now we have in this video we have seen the abnormalities of placenta sorry umbilical cord now in this next lecture we are going to see about the amniotic fluid okay so before going just don't forget to like subscribe and share the video